In this video, guys, I will show you guys how to design a party flyer in Corridor. So if you're new, my name is Jim, and don't forget to subscribe. So without any further ado, let's jump straight to the video. Welcome to Corridor, guys, and all the resources I'll make use of here, I'm going to put the link in the description down below. All right? So you can check it out. The first link on this video, download it and make use of it. So what we're going to do now is to change our size. And to change your size in Corel Draw, you locate what? Your property bar. All right. Now, um, this is my property bar. And once you locate your property bar, you will see drawing unit. <clears throat> so locate your drawing unit and make sure is um, you change it to inches. Do you understand? Change it to inches. So now, when you're done changing it to inches, you locate where you call page dimension. Can you understand? Now, the size we will make use of is 10 by 10 inches. So to put that in size, just press um, 10 up, 10 down. Can you understand? All right. So right now, you don't get that square. You've gotten that square shape. So the next thing you're going to do is you bring in your rectangle tool. And this is your rectangle tool here. A lot of us don't know what rectangle is. So if you are confused, in case you're confused, yes, if you're confused, please. If you're confused and you're not subscribed to this channel, please don't ask me your question. But if you're subscribed, feel free to ask me a question in the comment section below. All right? Now, this is your rectangle too. I have a, a beginner's class. You can check, you can go and check out that, that video. Where you will learn everything here. Do you understand? Now, select your rectangle to draw this way. So if you look closely, you will see that this thing there, it is not aligned with this frame. Change it gets. Now, come over to this page dimension again and put 10 by 10 inches. Selecting this one, this box we just created. Once you do that, press enter and press letter P. So if you check camera, if you look at now, you will see that it is it is well, you know, it is well aligned now. So we have this um, black stroke here. We'll call it black, black stroke or outline. So you understand. Now to remove that, come back to this parallel. This there's this red line over here. Right click on it and select so that line color. Once you remove that, once you do that, you will see that black line will vanish. She understand it has vanished. So now, what you're going to do is, you will go to file to import those images I told you. I'll put the link there. I'm I'll, um, I'm going to import them to CorelDRAW so we can make use of it to design what we want to design. She understand. So to bring it in here, go to file. This is file on your menu bar. All right. Click on it. You will see import control I. Control I is the shortcut. Here you get. Now click on the import. Everything what you see for here, nah? this is what we're going to make use of. So now eh, select everything. Everything apart from this one. Here you get. So this one now, it contains all the fonts which we will make use of for this tutorial. Here you get. Now click on import. You click for this import. Wait there for this place. Eh? Click on it. Now. Just click and drag like this. Click and drag. So you will bring everything here. So this one, this is the notepad I told you guys that has all the information. These are all the text here you get. And these are all the names of the fonts. Right? So what we're going to do now here eh, is we're going to bring in this background. But before we do that, if you see this image, look at this image very well. Right? You can see this image. I brought these two images so that I will explain something to you. If you look at this image, some from part of this place, this one is complete um colored. Here you get. And this one, some part has gray. White, the the clothes has its main color. Right? So if you want to teach you this thing, I will teach you guys, but I'll I'll make it a separate video so that you will learn. How we made this thing. It's very simple. 
Very, very simple. So this is the one I want to make use of. Here you get. I'm the one that um, made it this way so that we'll make use of it. But I'll have to explain to you so that you won't get confused. So now I'm going to delete this one. But this is the one I edited that we're going to make use of in this tutorial. So I'm going to put this one here. Now what I'm going to do now is I want to drag this one. Scale it up like this, eh? Scale it up. Now, when I click on it, then select um, our feed inside here. So you get. Then I click again and select edit power feed so that you go carry us enter inside the the frame so that we will see what we they do. Change grab. Now uh, I'll bring this one here. I'll bring this one here. So when I bring this one here like this, I'll put it in the way it is. Eh? So once I do that, I'll go to my effect. Then I will select my block. Then select Gaussian block. Some of you don't get these features for your core draw, eh? You don't get these features. But the features they you know that you don't know where to get them. You don't know where it is to locate it. You understand? So right now, you will go to bitmap. Under bitmap, you will see creative. Under creative, you will see blow. And under blow, you see Gaussian blow. That is the same process which I got this one where they do. So we don't be like say, I did you do anything, a different version. But if you want this version, you can DM me. For those of you that have DM me, I saw, I've seen your messages. I will reply, no less. Angel, no less. All right? I will reply. I've sent out some. If I've not sent to you, definitely you will get it. So just be patient with me. I have um, a lot that I'm doing also. So right now, I'm going to increase this a bit. So while I increase it to 5.8, I'll click OK. So I will leave that like that and click on Finish. Here you get. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring in this, this image. Scale it up this way. Don't worry, don't worry. Just calm down. Eh? I will explain everything later. So now eh, I'm going to right click on this one. Select power clip. Place it into this frame. So why are we right clicking? I'm power clipping inside the frame. If you look closely, look at this image. Eh? If you come here, you will see it is outside. This one is outside. So it's not good. So it's better we'll put it inside so that it will rhyme with this frame. That's the way so that nothing will be outside. So right here you can select power clip. Then this arrow will come. When you see this arrow, if you are seeing this arrow, just the arrow the actually is asking you where you want carrying me go. So we want carrying this guy put inside this frame. This frame is not a box. So no confuse. Sure you get. So now just point and click on it. Left click on it on your mouse. Your mouse get left and right click. So you get, in case you don't know that one. I don't know, Sha. But if you like, you follow me. If you like, no follow me. So what thing they let me say, eh? now, I'm going to bring in this background. So I will scale this one up like this. So right now, uh, we're going to power clip this one. By right clicking and select power clip, then we'll place this one inside this place. Then I'm going to zoom out this way. Then I'm going to right click and select edit power clip. So I'll bring this one here. Then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select this one. I'll go to my bitmap and select mode. Then select grayscale. Here you get. So once I do that one here, I'll come over to my rectangle to draw this way. So once I draw, I'll select my give them white corner. So we'll see. So I'll, I'll select. Let me just bring this one here. So I'll select my um, interactive field too. I will draw like this. Check good. Once I draw that way, I'll select this node. Change it to RGB. If you're not printing it, change it to RGB. And I want to select RGB. If you want to print it, if you're taking it to press, make sure you use CMYK. Check good. So I'll select this um, color eyedropper um, too. Then select this color from this guy. You can see the suit, you can see the color here. This eyedropper to here. Then I'll come to this one now. Then I'll select this one. Then I will select this green over here. All right. Then I will adjust this one. Once I adjust this one, I'll bring this one like this, this way. Then I'll put this one like this. Then make adjust, adjust. Let me just adjust this one. All right. So I'll place this one just right here. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this one, my transparency tool. Then I'll go to my image mode, then I will select overlay. So I'm going to try soft lights. Huh? So I think I'm going to leave it for soft light. If you don't work for us, if you don't work, we'll come out we'll or remove it. So I'm going to use shift page up to bring it forward this way. All right. So right now I'm going to select my rectangle tool. So I'll draw this one like this. I'll draw it this way. And I'll go to my black color and give it this color. Make sure your color is 100% um, RGB. All right. So double click on this color thumbnail here. Um, select your color viewer. Select your color model. Select RGB. Then bring it this way. Then click OK. Then select your transparency tool. So you will fade this one like this. Fade that. And why should fade that? I may mean, drag this one, come up like this. Here you get. You get back as well. So we're going to bring this one. Scale this one up. Use shift page up. Page up on your keyboard. There's one key that they write page up. Look at that key. Stop looking at my screen. Look at your keyboard. Then you will see shift. That one has arrow on it. That's the only key that has one big arrow like that. So hold that shift. Then press page up. You will see this this thing will come up. Once it come up, come up. Just go to your effects. Select blur. Select Gwasham blur. See the hear me at me? So once you blur this one like this, eh? You will see it has it is much. You can either do it this way. That's too much. You can see. So now we want to just reduce it a bit. We don't want it to be much. Here you get. Uh -huh. So once you do it like this, 2.3 pixels. Click on OK. Here you get. So. Bring this one like this. Select your transparency. Go here. Select screen. Or select overlay. Or select soft lights. Let's try soft light. Here you get. Now see what thing. You have seen what this thing is applied to this image. Like this. See this here. Huh? So you are seeing it, Davi. You are seeing the face. You are seeing this. You have seen it. I don't know if I'm talking to myself. Sha, you guys have seen it. So right now, eh? This is what we're going to have. Alright? So now I want to duplicate this this guy. I'll select it. So there's something I want to bring out here. I'm going to select this image, convert it to bitmap. Why am I converting to bitmap? Is because I don't want this image to be heavy. Alright? So right now, click on OK. Go to bitmap again. Select um, select mode. Then you will see um, black and white. Change it to black and white. Increase this. Gazi is on black. This is your before, and this is your after. So now I uh, click on OK. Now bitmap it again so that it will reduce the weight. Here you get. Now go to trace bitmap. Outline trace. Line art, and basically you wait for it to load. Check it. Gets. Wait for it to load. So while it's loading, in, just do me a favor and subscribe to this channel. Check it. Gets. And the only way we do something is that subscribe to this channel. I share my video. So we're waiting for it to load. It's not supposed to take this long, but I don't know why it's taking this long. So you can see here it's counting. It counts for here. And I think it has finished. So you have seen it. So now if you see something like this, just select specify color. I don't know why it's doing like that, but select specify color. This place, if you select automatic, sometimes leave it as automatic. Sometimes you leave it for specify color. It depends because this one is showing me transparent. Now it's showing transparent because when I click on OK now, here will go empty. So I don't want it to be empty. So you select specify color. Here you get. Then click OK. So I've told you guys the difference now. So now, what you're going to do is ungroup this and delete this one. Delete this one. So now you don't delete that way. Go to your shape. So you can see one point, point. So point, point, uh, line here. One white point, point here. Select your shape to delete this one. Highlight it. Delete. Delete. The deleter. See it's here. Deleter. Select this one. Deleter. Delete and again, delete that. 
So this is what you will see here. Eh? So now we have this one and we have this one. So now we we'll carry this line one here. Eh? Normally, eh, I may not plan to get this to get this line. I just saw it while I was designing this thing. So I just said this of deleting it. Let me just make use of it. So you get so I I can't drag and keep on for you. And it actually came out very fine. So you get I just drag out. I won't keep on for you. So you see, see that line for you. It comes with me. Now I can't even like that. But I left it the way it is because I love the way. I saw the line, instead of deleting it, I just liked it. So basically, this is what I wanted to use this thing for. So now I'm going to duplicate this one, this way. So I'm going to, you can do copy and paste. You can just copy and paste, Control c to copy, Control v to paste. But once you don't paste, then you can drag and come here, in case you just wonder whether I'm magic. I so I will drag this one, keep on for this side. So the first color I will give under this, um, so the first color I want to give up, you see, I'll give it this blue. All right. So once I give it the blue, I'll use control plus page down. Or I'll use shift page down to take it behind. Then I'll use control plus page up to bring it forward. So as you can see, eh, you can see that in there. So I go bring that inside like this. Right? So once I bring it inside the way it is. Right? So I'll bring this one like this. I think that's too much. Because I want to add another one, so make sure it's just like that. So now I'll bring in this one, give it yellow. Put that over here. Use shift plus page down, then use control plus page up to bring it forward like this. Now I will just shift and come as a small. Yes, yeah. So I want to click on finish. So this is what we will get there. Yeah? This is what we're going to have. So now uh, I'm going to select this image. I'll select this image, this work. Then I'll go to effect, select, adjust, select brightness and contrast. Then I will increase the contrast a bit. All right, 14% is fine. Then I will bring back this thing where I come out. Put that for it. All right, now I'll click on finish. So now uh, this logo, I'll bring this logo and place it just right there. All right, so we're going to place this logo just here. And now, now we have our background and other things. So I'll go, I'll come to this place and select my text, copy it, go over to the text too, and um, use Control V to paste, Control C to copy, Control V to paste. So I'll give it a white color so we can see. Right now, I'll copy this Kairoki Knight, paste it just right here. And once I do that, I'll change the font to Captain Book. Now I'll select Captain Book. Well, we'll select the bold one. So the names of all these fonts, I'll put the names in the down description below for you guys. So I'll put my cursor here and delete, um, sorry, break it apart this way by using Control plus K. So I will highlight everything now. Use Shift F3 or you come back to your text. Then select change case, shift F3 is a shortcut. Then select uppercase. Uppercase means capital letter. Here on start. So click on OK. Do the same to this one. And uh, right now, I'll bring this one down. And I will scale this one up like this. So once I scale it up, I'll scale this one up again. Then I will leave it like this. So right now, eh, I'll group this one together. So once I group it together, then I'll come to my shadow tool over here. So I'll select my contour tool and I'll apply like this. Okay. So once I apply this way, I'll come to this place, corner contours or contour colors. Then I'll select the round one. So you can see if you select the way it was before, it will show you box. So if you select this one, like it will give you one round shape like that. So you go right click on this black one, select break contour apart. So once you break it apart, you can see everything is one one. So I will give her this red color. And I will come back to this red color thumbnail. Double click on it. Select color viewer. Select color model. Change it to RGB. And I'll give her this perfect um 100 percent um red. 
So now uh, I'll select this boat and I'll just kind of go up small. Then this one with the like this. I'll give it this color. All right. I'll shift this one, come like this. So that is what we are going to have. So I'm going to group everything, group it, control J to group. Do you understand? So now eh, I'll click on it again. But before I click on it, eh, I'll bring in my rectangle to put a line here, give it a yellow color like this. Here you get. So once I do that one, then I'll bring in my shadow to then I'll put shadow like this. Instead of dragging it straight, carry your hand, come down small, bend them like this, bend it a bit. Here you understand? So once you bend it like this, and this is what you're going to have. So now, eh, I'll come here, come copy my time. Okay, the time is not here, but the time is actually uh, 7 p.m. So I'll change, I'll group this one, eh, I'll place it just right there. So I will change them to, I'll change the font to Captain Book. Then I will reduce them like this. Once I reduce it, I'll place it here. Then I'll give it this black color. So we'll just leave it like that. So now I'm going to select everything, select it again. Not select like this and select like this again, no. Once you select like this, click on it. Then you go, you can carry this one or you carry this one up and drag it like this. And just drag and leave it like that. See it. So we'll bring this one down here. All right. So once you bring it up, just leave it just the way it is. Huh? Uh, so leave that one just the way it is. So right now, the next thing I'm going to bring is, okay, with Jugo Assets. So right now, I'll break this one apart like this, using Control plus K. And the font we will use for this one is called Autograph. So this is the font, guys. So I'll give this one yellow color. And the font I will use for this one, I don't know the name, but I think it's this one. Let me check. Copy and paste. It's not this one, so... I think it's this. All right, this is the font I'll make use of. So I'll put the name. So why I wrote it down is because I've designed this thing before. That's why I'm telling you guys the font. So um, bring this one here. So I will place this one just right here. So if we want to have neon color we'll first, uh, we'll create that first time. The neon color we we'll just created. I don't think I don't know if it's neon, but that green and um, and blue color. But I know you forgot. So now what you're going to do is select your um your transparent your sorry your I um interactive field two and you go drag out like this. Select this one, select this, then select this color. Alright? Once you select this color, it's in on the apply shell, but select it again. Let's give it this color so we can see. Now select this one. So select this color. Now, uh, we can leave that one just the way it is, all right? We can leave that one to blue, drag it this way. So right now, eh, the next thing we're going to do is, we're going to bring in this one, the address, place it here. I'm going to change the font to Captain Book. But this one is too bold, so we're going to select um, something light, semi bold. So I will highlight everything, then I will use Shift F3, change to uppercase, then I'll make sure it's aligned to the middle. Then I'll drag this one down here. Then I will select my rectangle tool, and I'll draw a line over here. Now I'll remove the seal tool this way, and I'll give it a white outline like this. Here you go. So I'll select this white outline and I'll use Shift F12 on my keyboard. Shift F12 on your keyboard is to bring out outline pen dialog box. Or you come over to this place, so we'll click on it, this one over here. Then you can just increase the weight to this 1.5 and click on OK. Now, if you reduce this one, bring this one this way. All right. The next thing that I will do is. I'll bring in this one. Then I'll cut it this way. And leave this one over here. Then I'll highlight everything. 
then change it to uppercase shift F3 on your keyboard. Then I'll reduce this one. And the next thing I'm going to do is put a line here. Put a line here. Put a line here. And that is it, guys. So now I'm going to basically reduce this one. I'm going to board it a bit. I want to place it just right here. And this is basically what you're going to have, guys. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to copy the DJ. This is DJ Kelly. Now place this one just right here. All right. I'm going to reduce this one to align with this. So I'm going to uh, change the font of this to. Remember that first font I told you guys, this Sosa BB. So if you don't have this phone, guys, basically download, all right? Dafone.com, you can download from there. I'm, I'm going to break this one apart. So once I break it apart, I'll reduce this this way. And I will increase this one. Place it just right here. Then I'll bring in my rectangle to draw a line just right here or draw a box. Then I'm going to bring in my... Um, it's an active field to draw a line. Sorry, draw this way. Then select this color, color um, thumbnail. Then I will just copy this color. I'll copy this one. Then I'll give this one green. All right, so I'll just flip this one like this. Let it be like this. I'll flip this one this way. I'll bring this one just like this. I will remove the white outline we have there. So I'm going to use Shift um, Page Up to bring it forward. So this is what we are going to have, guys. So now uh, this is what we're going to have. So the next thing we'll do now is see. We're going to come over to this. Copy this date. Paste it just right here. So let me copy this one. Let me cut this. Control X to cut it. So, I'm going to reduce this, and I'll come over to this and bring this apart, Control plus K. Then, the font I'll be making is of this one is called this, I think, I think so. Alright, this is the font. Alright, so this is the font. So, I'm going to drag this one down, break this one apart, change this one to uppercase shift f3 then this one eh, i'm going to bring the ruler this way i want this thing to align together just the way it's aligning here guys so i'm going to bring in this so i'll scale this one up scale this one down place it here bring this one change the font to capstone book and I'm going to reduce this. Then I'm going to change this one to uppercase shift F3. Scale it down this way and place this one just right here. So right now, guys, watch carefully on what I'm going to do. I'm going to right click this and select convert to curve. Shortcut is control plus Q. Then I'm going to right click again and select break curve apart. So once you break it apart, you'll see this one is one, this one is one. So right now, I just want to play with this text. I'll leave this one to white. Change this one to lemon or um, green. Change this one to blue. Change this one to... Let me give it this orange color. Then change this one to blue. So guys, see how beautiful that is. I'm going to change this one to red color. And we're going to leave that one to that. So guys, check it out guys. You see how beautiful that looks. So I'm going to delete this one. And leave that one just the way it is. So right now, guys, I'm gonna make sure this is this is basically uh, giving me the same shape from here. Let's see. So you can see we need to bring this one closer like this. So once I bring it closer, select this, and um, make sure it's aligned together just this way. And nothing serious, guys. Nothing serious. So now, guys, I'm gonna bring in this. Scale it up a bit, break it apart. Then this is the Instagram handle. So place this one just right here. So we're going to place this one just right here. 
all right guys so this is basically what you're going to have so now i want to import something like uh the icon all right so i'm going to come over to this i'm going to select instagram facebook and um uh, whatsapp all right so i'm going to click on import drag this here and i'm going to bring this one here so so we're going to extract this one from this background i don't want to put it as color that it is so i'm going to change this so grayscale then change it to um change this to, make sure this is on a light art and i'll change this to um 244 depending on what you're working with then click on ok then go to your traffic map light art and um wait for it to load guys so once it's loaded you click on ok and uh, now you can delete this one ungroup it I don't teach you this thing, guys. I've taught you guys this thing a lot. So, you guys are supposed to be confused when I'm doing these kind of things, all right? So now, change it to black, black and white. And um, wait for those to note. So the reason why I love doing this is, you know, you have to, sometimes it's always good to uh, represent something with icons like Facebook, and uh, Instagram, like all the social media, it's always good to represent them with their virus logos, all right? All right, I'm gonna click on white color, decrease this, place it just right here. Once I do that, bring in WhatsApp, do the same thing we did here. Click on OK. Now select trace map and light trace light art and wait for it to load. Now click on OK and you can delete this one. Delete the black one. Decrease it. Right now we can basically select this, bring it here. All right, so I'm going to delete this one and um, I'm going to change the font of this to. Let me see. Okay. I think this is the font I used. I want to bring in this one and place it just right here. Okay. So now we'll have to make it closer to the number. Instead of leaving it there, this is where the number is. So we're going to scale this one up this way and um, guys. I'm going to leave that to that and make sure this is aligned basically this way. So select this and group it then align it just the way this is. The next thing I'm going to do is guys, I'm going to bring in this. Since it's Cairo key, so I want to represent it with this microphone. So basically guys, I'm going to select my, tra um, my transparency tool, fade out this edge, convert it to bitmap. Why am I converting to bitmap? Because it will enable me bitmap multiple multiple edges this way. If you don't convert to bitmap, you cannot um you cannot fill out this multiple side, all right? So now convert it to bitmap again. So it will enable you to fill out this one. Then once you're done, um you can change this to grayscale. Then convert it to screen. And this is what you're gonna have, guys. So right now. I'm going to um, highlight this and highlight it again. Select and double select it so you can see this. Then select this one and rotate it this way. And bring it up this way. Right now, I'm going to cut it using Ctrl plus X. Right click and select um, edit power clip. Place it into this frame. Then use shift page down to take it behind. Then use Ctrl page up to bring it forward this way. You can basically scale that up this way and click on finish. So that is it, guys. Right now, I'm going to um, create a logo. Put um, something like this, the over shape, give it a red color. Then you can type drink responsibly. Then you can put on um, this, let's say, the website www.bottlesandglasses.com.ng. All right, so right now, decrease this, bring it up this way. Scale it up this way. Give it a white color. 
Then over here, you can put 18 plus. Give it a white color. Increase this and put it just right here. Use your shape tool and um, decrease this this way. Then you can reduce this. And this is what you are going to have. So right now you can reduce this. And now you're going to rotate this 90 degree on your property bus. Put 90 degree over here. And this is what you are going to have. So you're going to basically uh, reduce this this way and place it just right here. And, uh, you know, leave that there. And basically, guys, without any further ado, this is how we design this unique party flyer in Corel Draw. If you want to know how I download images without um, restriction or paying for it or paying for them, just register for my online course and I will show you guys the tricks in which I use in doing all this. A lot of you come to some of you register for 5,000 courses, 10,000 courses. I'm putting this as low as 2,000. Register and the class is on Thursday, guys. Register and uh, I'm going to basically teach you guys how I do this. You can download premium things, premium stock images, mockups, and the rest. All right. If you have any question and you're not subscribed, please keep the question to yourself. If you're subscribed, guys, ask me a question in the comment section below. And don't forget to share this video. Like this video and drop me a comment in the comment section below all right so for the funeral program which we are working on or the magazine i will continue the episode where i stop in the um next video all right so stay tuned and see you guys in my next video